Well, these Walmart shelves are pretty empty, but I do see a couple of mini tins here. Let's see if these have evolving skies like the last ones did. All right, as you can see here, I got three of these tins. Um, I found an extra one on the shelf. So these are C22. 2020. I guess these were these like the original Sword and Shield base set ones, maybe? I don't think I ever opened these ones. But let's see this. I pre opened this one here because I started recording and I forgot to hit record for the, the card camera. All right, what we got here? Evolving Skies. Okay, good. So looks like C22 still has it as a Fusion Strike, too. Brilliant Stars. Okay, I'll take that. Still got our card. All right, let's crack them all open. These were $9.99. So that's worth it on its own just for the Evolving Skies pack. I'm trying to maneuver around my little camera setup. I'm trying a different stand for it. My last one was getting super wobbly. Right, same thing. Maybe I need to try overhead off of a monitor or something. I used to do that way back when I first started this channel. Which was like three years ago. Coming close to the first time. I think it was November 2021, the first video I posted on here. And that was like all Yu-Gi-Oh stuff, so. I've mostly gotten away from Yu-Gi-Oh and done more Pokemon. All right, the Umbreon pack. Okay. All righty. See what we got for brilliant stars here. I've never pulled that Arceus. That Arceus alt art. And brilliant stars. Alright, we got Tropius. Morgrim. Got something in the back. Claydol. Alucha. Weasel. Gibble. Trap Pinch. Cast Form. Alucha. And a Riken. Thought it looked like a regular V card. Yeah, I might definitely have to switch. Oh, I have this little tripod set up. It's kind of a little inconvenient. But it's more stable than the last one I've been using for three years. Oh, I don't want this one. All right. Oh, another fighting energy. Okay. The Brava, Tropius, Claydol, Burmy, Sock, Cherries in the Tree, Riolu. Starly, cherries in the tree again. <laughs> the professor's research. All right, I guess that's two in a row, huh? Technically with the regular hollow. Let's see if we go three for three here. Yeah, so this Walmart is where I got the evolving skies. Other C twenty two tens with other style. I think that was the Galar Power tens that originally had Darkness of Blaze in it. Um, but those shelves have been empty for a minute. I think I also got some Shrouded Fable there before. 
So I think they did restock when that first came out, but since then they have not restocked. And uh, the shelves are very empty. Uh, Grimer, Clefairy, Leptivire, and Drudigan. Oh, three for three. So we'll start with the skyscraper. Start at the top. And uh, go downhill from there, because. Okay, black. Black uh, code card. Because Evolving Skies is tough, especially nowadays, it seems like. I first opened this, and I opened this, I mean, Evolving Skies came out, like, three years ago, almost exactly. Those first booster boxes I got were so good. We didn't pull any VMAX alt arts, but we got a lot of the V Evolution alt arts. And it's a regular hollow Salamence. But I guess later on, we did pull Sylveon VMAX and the Rayquaza VMAX. But that was still probably within the first few months. First few months to the first year of it being released. Another black code, okay. Uh, and since then, I think the set's just gotten tougher and tougher to pull from. Is that our second grass energy in a row? Vigoraw, Rufflet, Rog and Rolla, Boba Fett. Hop it. Zorla. Bergmite. Please don't be another regular hollow. I got you, oh, man. God. Salem, that's a cat. Okay, Umbreon pack. All comes down to you, buddy. My favorite Eevee evolution. Yeah. Not gonna look at the back of this one. All right, dark energy. Let's see if that summons us an Umbreon here. Sableye, Teddy Bear, Mareep, Tentacruel, and looks like a yellow border down there. It is. Apple pie. Give me the phone number from the apple pie. Alright, well we got a ride co out of those tins. But like I said, I got one of these mystery boxes. This one's kinda beat up on the wrapper. The other two boxes were kinda smashed though. But five booster packs, this was 30 bucks. Not the best deal, six dollars a pack. Uh base set two. That's definitely not going to be in there. We also got Flash Fire. Hopefully we at least get Evolving Skies. That might make the $30 price tag a little more worthwhile. And get it open. Alright, I can't really fit the box on the tripod, so we'll just open it on the face cam. We got... Silver Tempest. We got, looks like another Silver Tempest. And it's not too bad. Looks like we got another Silver Tempest. No. Why? <laughs> okay, maybe I'll get a Lugia after all. After I went hunting for all those um, so called God Packs. Brilliant Stars. One Evolving Skies, maybe? Hopefully, please. Shining Fates. Alright. Well. Not really what I was expecting, but you know, mystery box, so. Well, what can you really expect? Just five packs for six bucks. Huh? Alright, Shining Fates. Although that one always has, right? 
Let's get a regular hollow out of here at least, I think. It's been a while. Rusty shield. Oh, do we have something in the back? Eldegoss. More Peko. Nick it. Eevee. Gas floor. Oh, skipping stuff. Turtle. I mean, Choodle. Nick it. And. Ditto. Okay, I'll take it. Ditto V. Be nice if that could have transformed into a Charizard or something for me. Alright. Speaking of brilliant stars, I'll take another Charizard alt art. Or the Umbreon out of here. I don't have either of the Umbreon trainer gallery cards from this set. There's fire energy. There's Starmie washed up on the beach. Butthead. Burmy. Impident. Staryu. Baltoy. And. Fly Guy. Two V cards in a row. Alright, here we go. The Three Silver Tempest. Why Three Silver Tempest? I guess it could be a worse pack. There's no like Scarlet and Violet base or something. Or like Vivid Voltage or Darkness Ablaze. Unidentified Fossil. Boongus. Sandy Gast. Elegant. Alucha. Oh! A Duraludon VMAX. I don't know if I have this. For the Trainer Gallery. Take it. A Victini. The V for victory. These are pretty cool cards. Gold, I don't know if you would, you call them gold guards. All right. Three for three on Polis here. I was debating on this mystery box or one of the two smash ones thought. Oh, well, maybe the smash ones might actually be good luck. But maybe this was the one to go with. Sunflora. Alter. The Dene. Durant. Flying Squirrel. Flying. Hunk of Metal. Stunfisk. Vulpix. Cardivoir. And. Cardivoir. No what? four for four. What? Last pack. Just need the Lugia Altart. That's all. The only Lugia in the set that I need. I'm gonna be searching for it forever. Feels like. Alright. Meowstic. Clayley Whalmer. Zdrevis. Mulga. Meditite. Durant, Stunfisk, and no! not even non-hollow. All right, well there you have it. So those C22 tins do have evolving skies in them. So if you see any of those, try it out. I'm not going to guarantee that every single variation has them, but it seems like the ones that I've opened so far do. Once again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.